I don't know why everything I try to do to gain the love of my husband back is, is, is not working out. I've tried all my possible best. I've tried to show him that I love him so much. I've tried to do everything that he would please him, but he is not even looking at me. This is Olori Ashley allegedly complaining. My people, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Live G's Plus. As it is rumored, as it is alleged, the rumors going on on internet is that Olori Ashley tried to give Oni of Ife Kabiesi a surprise package. Yes, a surprise romantic moment. You know, uh, she, according to the information we got, they said she has been boasting that uh, uh, she knows how to get Oni of Ife back to herself. That she could remember in those days when they were dating, that uh, all the the kind of thing that KBAC used to love, that KBAC loves surprises. That the, there are there is one thing that she used to do for KBAC at any time he is celebrating, or maybe at a point in time he might just decide to do it, and KBAC will just like wow, and they will, you know, they threaten their love when they were dating. So as we heard, he was making mouth about it that 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 one is a small case that he will do what he will do and KBAC will come back. That KBAC don't even need too much pressure, too much uh, too much uh, drama. That there is one thing he will do now that she used to do for KBAC back in the days when they were dating and KBAC will keep running back to her. But it's so unfortunately this time. That those things she was boasting for, that she would do for KBAC, for KBAC to have a turn of mind towards her, did not work out for her. As uh, we heard, as it is rumored and it's alleged, that Oni of Ife practically turned down the beautiful surprise moment, surprise a uh, romantic moment that Olori actually put up for him my people that is the information that is going on right now and they said olori ashley was in pain in fact she broke down because she think that uh it is the, still the same kbac in the olden time in the old times when they were they were still dating that those things that she used to do that make kbac keep running back to her that it is no longer working that she kept complaining 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 and this time around they said she felt so bad fell on her knees and cried bitterly because of the surprise that she prepared for kbc and kbc practically turned it on my people there's um we, we should we, let's not forget that very important that you cannot force love right you cannot force anyone to love you at a point, it could be your attitude or the way you started doing that make the person deviate from you and, and lost feelings for you. And once you start misbehaving and doing all sorts of things, someone loses feelings for you, forget it. It is very, very, very difficult to come back. Sometimes the person goes from there and you will never, never have the person anymore. That is the case of Olori Ashley. Maybe if she didn't join others or Loris to be doing, committing all the atrocities that are committing alleged as we heard, my people, maybe her own case would have been different. Because uh, if you look closely on, with her, on her relationship with Oni of Ife, you would see that they were so much in love before. Yes, they are very, very, very much close and in love. That the, the rumor that we heard that even when uh, Oni of Ife married Naomi, that she was still seen with KBAC walking around. That KBAC still used to go out with her, still used to uh, meet with her, still in fact, that they were so much in love. So I don't even know why Oni of Ife, KBAC, will first now leave her and marry Olori Naomi. If they were so much in that love, and if he knew he would still marry her later, why then, why then didn't he marry her, him first? Or marry, uh, sorry, marry Ashley first. You will now understand the power of destiny. This is where it comes in. Yes, it doesn't matter who comes first. It doesn't matter who you have ever loved and who loved you back. How you people were in love and how you people were, in fact, were so happy for to have each other. If you are not destined to be, you are not destined to be. For the fact that they knew before only of Ife and uh, Olori Ashley knew before uh, only of Ife knows Naomi. 
and Oni Ofife went ahead to marry Naomi immediately without even thinking of marrying Ashley. It was later, 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 later that he now, uh, when Olori Naomi left, that he now decided to marry Ashley alongside the other wives. So if you look at the whole scenario, if you just even understand, if, if you are Ashley, you first understand that, no, this man doesn't love me as much as I do. So there is no need, there is no point even saying yes to the marriage of becoming a, a fifth wife or fourth wife after you were the one he first met before the other people. Women, we, sometimes it is us that do this to ourselves. You are dating someone and you are in love with the person, you think the person is in love with you. And now the person now got married to another person, leaving you behind. And you still follow him around, like seriously. You still follow someone that left you to marry somebody else. You still follow him around. You are still with him. And that thing that you are looking for, Ashley, you have gotten it. Yes. Because if by that time that Oni Ofife left you and married Queen Naomi, you would have just left him for good because he didn't see you as a priority. He didn't see you as a wife marriageable material. That is why he married someone that is marriageable. And you that have observed that, you would have just walked away. Instead of still struggling, 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 I must be one of the royal wives. I must be one of the lorries. And that is it. That is what keeps hunting back at her. Now she doesn't have the man anymore. And she's trying to do all things to, to make him come back. And now she didn't, she forgets so soon that the only the, she knew before is no longer the only of now. That only now has changed and it's now so can do. So, I don't know what she wants from uh, KBSC that uh, she would not let go. She has applied all the formulas she, she had, all the formulas she needs. She has gone to the water, she has used traditional uh, means, and now she has come up with physical romantic means, and it did not still work out for her. What does Ashley really want from KBSC? Why not just let go? Let go. If you are the, the glove of his life, as you claim, he wouldn't have left you first and married the, uh, Olori Naomi. That is, the, that is very simple. I don't know where our pride is as women. If, if someone leaves you and marries somebody else, then leave him. Let him go. He didn't see you as a priority. He didn't see you as a marriageable thing. And okay, now, the, when they now let her marry her was when the, that first one now rejected. Uh, said uh, Olori Naomi now said, I'm not marrying again. And uh, that is when he now she was not she was now married alongside. And now, another thing is that she was not even married as the first, not as the second. So what is she? What is really? What is she really, really looking for? In her next life, that she keeps having this kind of passion to the extent of becoming number one wife. And now you think that uh, oh now that uh, Olori, you, you people have conspired a lot against Olori Naomi. And uh, the king has already noticed that this woman, you people are pressing her and giving you the punishments of your life. It is now you think you can now come and get Oni with just a romantic, uh, uh, a romantic uh, presentation. Like you expect him to just jump on you and say, wow, thank you. No, after so many years, after the things that you people did to Olori Naomi. So my people, that is the information they said Oni Ofife practically, practically rejected, turned it down. They said Olori oh, actually fell down on her knees and started crying, crying and shouting on top of her voices that this man, her man has uh, eluded him, that her man has been taken away from her, that she cannot get her man back, you know? So I don't know what could be your uh, your intentions so far, Olori Ashley, but whatever... Uh, it's your intention. Just know that it is not going to work. Me and the uh, other Queen Naomi's fans are saying that this is not going to work. All you guys, all you women are using your mat. You're trying to use your manipulative power over Oni of Ife. So my people, uh, my people, that is, is it. That is what they're really trying to do. To now everybody is claiming that they have the repented. They are now good don't people. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch out for the next move they will do. If eventually oh, Oni of Ife accept them back. My people, don't forget that this is an alleged information. Subscribe to this channel, press the notification bell, uh, drop your comments because I'm coming your way again. I am preparing something beautiful for you. Stay tuned and have a nice day.